Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. I'm at the Rural Life Living Museum, uh, not far from Farnham in Tilford. And uh, I come here to see the 1940s reenactment weekend, celebrating everything 1940s, which my friend Al does quite a lot of, who's here somewhere, so I can go and find him in a minute. Um, so yeah, I've never been here before, so something new. Let's, uh, let's check it out. Amazing. Some stuff we got here. Jeep. The chap who works here recognised me. He's one of my subscribers, so thank you very much. Lovely chatting with you. Because Richard Vove came here and did a fantastic video with him and Julia um, last year, I think it was. Wow, this is much more 1940s heavy than I thought it was going to be. was Henry and Madge who founded this place I think back in the 1970s and it's sort of grown since then. Absolutely man, I can't believe I've actually been here before. Of course the Wilden Iron Industry. Of course. Some of these vehicles are incredible. I didn't expect them to be here to be honest with you. of uh, US uh, vehicles. So I'm assuming a lot of these vehicles are originals. I mean, not very um, educated in the, on the subject of uh, vintage vehicles, but uh, they're pretty damn impressive. Good boy. We're going to load up the big bang, have we? You really should come and visit this place. Absolutely incredible. I've known of it for years and I'm really pleased I've come today. I still can't find Al though. I don't want to call him, he might not have his phone with him if he's all in his 1940s gear. The carpenter's shop. I'll uh, link Richard's video, Richard and Julia's video, below in the description box as well because it's really good. They have exclusive access to a lot of the uh, rooms and it's a really good video. I said this when I was at Brooklyn about the digital age versus the analog age. Amazing, look at that car. You can come again. The guy looked his scooter and I said he took to the judge, he said.
all this old stuff, isn't it great? Although it's a Saturday, it's a bank holiday weekend, so it's absolutely packed here, which is great. And as by chance, the person I've been looking for all this time, hello mate. Right. I'm hiding. So with Big Al, Al, what's this weekend all about? What's it all about? Well, 1940s, just, isn't it? Yeah, it's just to educate the people about the 1940s. This is sort of set in 1944, just before everyone went over. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, that's why there's Americans and there's... Yeah, there's, there's a is, lot of American vehicles. Yeah. Are they, no, this I said this, are they original or not? Or are they, yeah, 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 they yeah are most, original, most right. of the vehicles, well, all of the vehicles are, are originals. Wow. You okay. know, and even most of the kit. Mm -hmm. we, we do it as, as Dad's Army, yeah. so it's, so it's all the fake black, stuff. Is it the Blackout this Buddies? All, yeah, yeah, we're the Blackout Buddies. Um, but we are sort of Warmington. Right. Warmington Sea. Yes, because we have Captain Mannering here. Uh, oh, there he is. There he is. Captain Mannering. Captain Mannering. I've met him before. Yes. yes. Captain Mannering here, everyone. How are you, sir? You stupid boy. It's going to Yeah, so it's, it's just educational, really. Yeah. So, a lot of kids, a lot of education for the kids as well. Yeah, but, but they don't know anything about it. No, of course not. Stuff, so. It's not on TikTok, is it? So. It's keeping <laughs> it alive. It's keeping it alive, exactly. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Nothing great walking around so far. We're still alive. <laughs> yes, sir. Long mate rain. Long mate rain, rain. definitely. Yeah, it's beautiful, isn't it? One. Yeah, I love, I love the way that's uh, that yeah, piece put together. Mm. But it is all buildings from the Crown Surrey. Yeah, yeah. 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 Like the Walden Downland Museum, sorry, very loud with the motorbikes. A lot of these old buildings were rescued. I know the Walden Downland, they're more Tudor and medieval, but um, well, these uh, ancient um, were reconstructed here. It's the old chapel, fantastic, isn't it? There's a lovely mix of rural equipment and 1940s American GIs. <laughs> this is great, I love it. So we've got a drone. It's like I've never a drone person, but you never know. smell of motor oil today. <laughs>
I seem to be switching from rural life 1940s, rural life 1940s. But yeah, the smell of motor oil was really strong. Not environmentally, environmentally friendly vehicles were they back in the day. It's where it's all about. You're really going back in time when you're in these places, aren't you? Really going back in time. I love these shop reconstructions. They're absolutely fantastic. This has turned out rather lovely. I knew it was going to be anyway, don't worry. But uh, really impressed with this place, really impressed. In the edit, I'll have to use some stock music because I don't want to get a, a YouTube strike from all the 1940s music playing in some of the uh, barns and some of the areas. <laughs> So there we go, a great video from the uh, Rural Life uh, Open Museum. Been really cool this 1940s weekend. I've still got lots of <laughs> motor oil, coughing from the motor oil. But it's, it's like a mini Glastonbury, everyone just chilled out and just hanging out, you know, all the RVs and caravans over there that's staying for the weekend. Been absolutely fantastic. So uh, yeah, thank you Al. Nice catching up with him again. Um, and if you like this video, please like, subscribe. I'll link, I'll link the, uh, the website for this place below as well. And please come and visit, it is rather fabulous. And on that note, from this beautifully warm sunny day, we'll see you next time. Take care. <laughs>